Oh, forget it. That's right. Episode 200, Barry. 200! 200! This show is electric. Yeah. Is there is there a buzz? Do you guys hear a buzz? Do I need to get a de-hum? Is that loud enough? <laughs> uh, and this is what Ralph sounds like at home right now. <laughs> Yes, and this is, uh, here, l uh, close your eyes and listen to this. <laughs> that was the lip smack showcase. All right, but let's get this, let's get this episode started. It's the 200th episode. Let's, let's crank it up here. Let me, let me, let me, let me get ready and pull on the string to start the motor. Oh. Oh, that was lame. <laughs> it didn't. Well, that was lame. Almost as lame as this weird horn section that I wake up to every morning. <laughs> All right. Anyway, welcome to the Podcast Engineering Show. My name is Chris Curran, and uh, I produce podcasts, and I also teach podcast production at Podcast Engineering School. So... This is the Podcast Engineering Show. Uh, my name is Chris Curran. Uh, on this show, we talk about podcast production in depth. Uh, I interview podcasters and also other audio professionals. And then every other episode, we have a daily goodie episode, which I talk about the tips and tricks, uh, the, the little daily blog posts I write on, on the website, podcastengineeringschool.com. Uh, I also produce podcasts for clients. And this is the 200th episode. Uh, we have an amazing lineup of, of things to go through. We're going to, I'm going to demonstrate various effects, actually different audio effects. And it, I, I'm doing that because I don't know if you remember in episode 100, um, I actually did a demonstration of different, what different frequencies sound like. So I thought in 200, we should also do something with audio so you can kind of close your eyes and hear things. So I'm going to demonstrate various effects like flanging and phasing and reverb and delay and all that stuff. Um, also, and this is the main part of the celebration show, is that I asked a bunch of my fans and friends to submit clips, uh, audio clips, roasting me and or congratulating me. And I asked them specifically to submit audio that is extremely horrible quality. Like I wanted the just the worst quality audio you can submit to me. So we had, uh, I think, nine or 10 people submit audio. And yeah, there's some really nasty sound. It's gonna, This is going to be fun. Also, I'm going to play an extended clip of Barry. You know, you all hear these little clips I play of Barry, but I'm going to play you a, four minutes and five seconds of Barry talking and telling me some stories. This is from one of our, you know, remember I, I said Barry was a maintenance guy in the building where I, where my studio was in New Jersey, and he would come in and sit down and we would talk. And then I, I started putting up a microphone and recording him. And I just realized, in fact, some of the students currently who are in podcast engineering school, they, they didn't think Barry was real. They thought, I don't know, they didn't know that Barry was a real guy. Other people make the mistake of thinking it's Barry White, but it's not. Right, Barry? Oh, forget it. I'm telling you. It's cr you're, 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 you are your own entity, right, Barry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Barry. Anyway, so finally, after 200 episodes, and Barry, of course, is am amazing, uh, Amazing voice, amazing person. You're going to get to hear four minutes and five seconds of Barry talking. And then a different outro song. So the same band that... Uh, the, for my intro song and my outro song is from the same band called Tour Book. Um, and I chose a different song. So we're going to have a different outro song today. So we're going to do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate all you listeners who have been listening for a while and improving the audio quality of your podcasts and publishing better audio and providing many annoyance-free experiences to all the listeners, right? That's what good audio does. It doesn't annoy people 
like like the like normal podcast like average podcast audio it's kind of annoying right because the volume goes way up and down and there's sibilance and there's all this nasty stuff there's background noise and 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 so when you when you produce good audio you're actually helping so many people have a good experience so all right before we get to the fun stuff uh let just a little bit of history episode one of this show was published on march 10th 2016. Actually, I just realized that's about four and a half years ago. Yeah. So where were you four and a half years ago? Okay. Um, now my production has changed since starting the show. Um, now I didn't, I started podcasting in 2012. So I had been producing my own shows and producing shows for other people for, you know, four, four years before I started this show. Uh, and of course, just if if you're not familiar with my background, I, I was an audio engineer in the music business as well in the '90s and early 2000s, and I got a bunch of album credits and all that stuff. I worked on records and with some really cool artists and stuff, so that was fun. But anyway, uh, in the last four and a half years, um, my production has changed a little bit. I used to use uh, an Asus laptop, which was running Windows Seven, um, and it was a good laptop. And, but now I'm on an iMac Pro, which I've had for almost three years. It's hard to believe. I've had I've been a Mac person for almost three years now. And I used to have fewer plugins, which means now I have many more plugins. <laughs> yeah, I've I've amassed a bunch of plugins over the years and it it I just love it. Um and the and the podcast editor and producer space, right, has grown as well since I started this show. I mean all the Facebook groups and the podcast editors clubs and this and that like podcast editing and production has really grown in the last four and a half years, a lot, which is great. And, um, so thanks to everybody who's participated in this show over the years and given me feedback and written, you know, sent me funny emails and all that. Also, thanks to all the guests I've had. I mean, I've had, I, it's hard to comprehend how many awesome guests I've had on this show. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's hard to, it's crazy to think about. All right. So let's get into the fun stuff. What do you say, Barry? No way. You crazy? No, what? No, Barry, we got to Okay. We're going to do it, Barry. You're okay with that? Hold on. I got to switch screens. Barry needs, <laughs> Barry needs to switch the screen here. Um, you're Barry. You're okay, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I thought so. All right. Well, here's what uh, a phaser sounds like a phaser effect. Okay. Now, one thing before I play you these effects, um, actually I'm going to play you the flanger first. So I got the flanger, the phaser, the chorus, the reverb, and the delay. And I'm just playing the, playing these for you, just so you have an idea of what these words mean and some different effects that you can add to your voice. Now, mostly in podcast production, we don't use these effects. Um, probably a little tiny bit of chorus is kind of cool even for podcasting, but the other effects, you know, I mean, some people add a tiny bit of reverb. I, I, I do as well. Uh, but really besides a tiny bit of reverb and a tiny bit of chorus, you're not going to use a phaser or a flanger or a delay, except if you're producing like an intro for your show, like, like, you know, Mike Russell, he produces those intros. Sounds like a big radio voice and uh, welcome to the show, 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 show. Like that's kind of like that's delay show, show, show. Anyway, so you're going to hear that. But so here's the other, the, the, one of the problems with demonstrating some of these sounds is that some of these sounds don't work that well on a human voice. They work a lot better on musical instruments. So like the flanger and the phaser, you'll hear it, you'll hear something, but it's, you know, it's, it's not, pr well, it is very pronounced, but, uh, anyway, so anyway, let's just do it. So here's, uh, he here's what a flanger sounds like. And this effect is called a flanger. This is one of my favorite effects ever, a flanger. I'm also using kaleidoscope from waves to create this flanging sound. So how do you like a flanger sound? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fl flanging is just so cool in music. You can't overuse it. It's one of those things you can only use it a little bit once or twice because it's so cool. Um, anyway, here's, uh, here's what a phaser effect sounds like. All right, well, this is a phaser effect. 
This is a phaser type of effect, and I'm using the plugin called Kaleidoscope from Waves. And this is a phaser effect. How does it sound? All right, yeah, this it's hard to hear. Sometimes wearing headphones, it's a lot easier to hear things. By the way, the flanger that I played, it wasn't from the Kaleidoscope plugin. I actually used a different plugin, and now I forget what it was. But anyway, it wasn't wasn't the Kaleidoscope because Kaleidoscope wasn't giving me enough flange, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now here's chorus. Here's a chorusing effect. And here we have a chorus effect. This is a chorus effect. By the way, uh, the other, some people call a chorusing effect. Well, sometimes you can use a chorusing effect to act as almost like a doubler. So you can make it sound like there's two voices really, really close together instead of just one. And here we have a chorus effect. This is a chorus effect. Uh, again, from Kaleidoscope from Waves. And this is chorusing. How does it sound? Oh, yeah, chorus. So, of course, that, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you all know this one. And this is good old reverb. Yeah, we all, you all know reverb <laughs> from podcast guests who oh, use yeah. a Blue Yeti and put it 10 feet away. <laughs> yep, this is reverb. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to put a big reverb on here. All right, how do you like reverb? Wow, what the heck was that? You hear that little hitch? And I just realized my voice live is probably, like my voice right now is, I think it's significantly louder than these effects. But of course, when I produce, when I do post-production, I'll, I'll love, level them out so they're the same. And here's what delay sounds like. And this is delay. This is, delay. This, is delay. This, is delay. this is delay. This is never this used, in, never podcasting, used in, podcasting, in podcasting, but this is used in music all the time. All the, time. All the, time. All the, great, all mixing the great mixing engineers use engineers several, use several use if not many, many delays, many and this delays. is called a delay. Called a delay. Called Again, delay. you would never use it on a podcast, but how do you like delay? Ralph M. Rivera. There, see, I told you, Ralph, you're going to get mentioned uh, again, and, and maybe even you also submitted uh, a file here, which is great. So, all right. Anyway, that's just some effects. And now let's, let's start playing the, the clips that people sent me. Remember, I asked them to send the most horrible, disgusting, awful sounding audio they could muster. And so let's start out with, uh, our good friend, Mike McCallan. Uh, here, here's Mike McCallan's, uh, submitted audio. Hey, Chris, it's Mike McCallan. Just wanted to say congratulations. Um, I've learned so much from you. I've made so many strides in my life <laughs> because of you. And personally and professionally, I just think you're just dynamite. And I wouldn't be the man I am today if it weren't for you. So thank you and congratulations on 200 episodes. <laughs> you think that would sound okay? I don't know. He's kind of a dick. But anyway, I hope he's. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, that's classic, right? By the way, Mike had the, I don't know if I could play the clip from a certain spot, but he had the classic trailing off phenomena where he where people talk and then they just talk. Oh, no, it's at the end of their sentence. So, um, yeah, so they finish, he would finish the sentence and, the, and then he would finish the sentence like this. And it's like you almost end up whispering. This is, this is what he did right here. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Wait, why can't I play it from the middle? Oh, that stinks. Anyway, maybe you can rewind it, but it doesn't matter. Anyway. All right. Now here's, so Mike McCallan sent me two clips. I don't know why that one was sounded pretty bad, but it wasn't the worst audio I've ever heard. Uh, but then he sends, then Mike McCallan sends this one. And by the way, Mike McCallan, uh, does, uh, does podcasts for associations. So if you know any associations that want a podcast, send them to Mike McCallan. Hey, Chris. This is Mike McAllen. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. Seriously, you are a bang up dude and I enjoy working with you and I'm really happy you made it to 200 shows, which is amazing. You do so many amazing things. Don't let this go to your head, but um, I love you and I think you're awesome. So keep up the good work. Congratulations. And I mean, it. bye bye. Again, this is Mike McAllen, if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's classic this really heartfelt i love you and then he's like at the end he's like uh by the way this is mike mccallan if you didn't know <laughs> ah that's too good too class all right brad hargis of course from the cinema guys podcast oh actually so andy wong sent in his audio let's play his first 
of course, Andy is the host of Inspired Money, and he was on my show as well. And so let's listen to the audio that uh, Andy Wong sent in. <laughs> is this thing on? Hey, Chris, it's Andy from Inspired Money and also the podcast gym. I want to wish you a happy... Wait, hold on. Hold on, I'm, I'm vacuuming. Is that a recorder? <laughs> Yeah, sound great. Oh, dude. Andy Wong killing it. That sounded horrendous. Do you hear? It's like something like rubbing the whole time and all the background noise. That was great. <laughs> and then he goes, the, the line of the of the day is, is that a recorder? <laughs> like, he, like even he didn't know where that came from. Oh, that was good. So thank you for the congratulations, Andy. That was a great clip. Oh, man. So good. Too funny. Oh, too funny. And is my computer locking up? All right, no. And So next now is Brad Hargis from the Cinema Guys podcast. Uh, check out the Cinema Guys podcast. This is Brad Hargis. Hey, Chris. It's Brad from the Cinema Guys. First of all, that, that sounds pretty bad. You hear all the background noise? <laughs> Let me start it again. Hey, Chris. It's Brad from the Cinema Guys. And... 200 episodes of the podcast engineering show congratulations i have learned so much from you it's it's amazing you know my technique um using um um you know the the blue blue yeti and my blue snowball here in the middle of the table it's beautiful it sounds so good i've i've learned how to really work with the mic and recording my podcast and here's hoping to to two more 200 more episodes of the podcast engineering show have a good one chris yes thank you brad thank you so much really appreciate that coming from you and uh i i miss doing our podcasters lounge live streams we might have to start them again sometime soon as well uh but let's move on to the next audio submission which is from Brian Ensminger, and also the rest of the crew at the Podcast Editor's Mastermind, which includes Jennifer Longworth, Carrie Caulfield-Eric, and Daniel Abendroth. And all four of them have been guests on my show separately. Uh, so that's just awesome. So I appreciate Brian sending me this piece of audio. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Awesome. All right, we're live. Yay! Awesome. Yay. From all of us at the Podcast Editor's Mastermind, we want to wish Chris Curran a happy 200th episode. I know personally, after Yay. being on his show, I just learned I so much from talking too. to him on how to have yeah. really, really good podcast audio. So thank you so much, Chris, for all you do for the podcasting community. Yeah. Same That's here. I, I was so happy to learn that I didn't have to wait till other people were done talking and I didn't have to be close to my microphone anymore because I know I can fix it in post. <laughs> my editor can get this out, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right, I paused it. So first of all, Daniel's mic is very distorted. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I, he, he probably could have even cranked it up a little more to got more crunchiness but his his mic is all distorted, and Brian Ensminger, who was there talking, he's he like moved way away from his microphone, so it's so it's so funny. It just sounds terrible. I love this. And, you know, hey, edit that part out. Cut that. Don't leave that in. But do. I'm just so glad that I had learned about the from this show. And by the way, I don't think any of them are near their microphones. I love this. Because I don't know what my life would like without this thing thing of the weapon of the microphone. Oh, that's, that looks real nice, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. And, and, so I, I'm using a condenser microphone because I really wanted it to pick up the bass in my voice. Is that working? <laughs> Sounds, I think you sound great. Okay, good. You sound fabulous. 
They all sound punch drunk, don't they? <laughs> so anyway, happy 200th, Chris. Yeah, happy 200th, Chris. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's to 200 more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Well, thank all of you uh, for, for sending in that audio. <clears throat> oh, wow. Weird. I don't know what happened to my throat there. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. And I appreciate having each of you on my show in the past. Really, it's great. Okay, let's move on to the next clip, which is David DeVilbus. Uh, I, I'm just going to play this. I'm not even going to introduce it at all. <laughs> Hi, Chris. I'm recording this message for your <laughs> 200th episode. Or is it session in my LBJ studio so that I <laughs> he just flushed the to he first of all he he passed wind, then he flushed the toilet. I can produce bad audio or stinky sound as per your request. Let me turn the fan on here. <laughs> ah, let me turn the fan on here. <laughs> I don't really want to roast you, but I did find a sound clip from PES 126 where you and Dave Jackson unknowingly set yourselves up for a roasting. Listen up. Hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, so we went to the podcast movement meetup. And anyway, this woman was there. Her name is Sarah Logan Gregory. And, you know, we're like, hey, how you doing? What's what's your show? And she's like, I host the Emerging Infectious Diseases podcast. <laughs> and, you know, it just makes you smile. Emerging Infectious Diseases. And then we're sitting there and Dave Jackson and me and James Crudlin are talking to her. And then Dave Jackson just made a comment like, oh, yeah, you talk about infectious diseases. And the woman goes, emerging infectious diseases <laughs> and Dave was like oh no not just regular infectious diseases like the latest and greatest emerging <laughs> infectious diseases by the way is it not funny how all that happened before uh COVID <laughs> there you were making fun of a seemingly uninteresting podcast micro niche and then this year Potential interest increased to about 328 million people anxious about an emerging <laughs> infectious disease being tracked by the CDC. Roaster time for the boys at the bar. I guess Sarah got the last laugh on you guys. <laughs> Seriously, Chris, congratulations on your 200th and many thanks for sharing your knowledge introducing us to some wonderful guests and teaching us how to produce good audio. Yeah, David DeVilbus, thank you, man. Thank you so much. That was such a great submission. Great job on that audio. Uh, it sounded pretty bad, which I, I totally appreciate. That's what I wanted. Uh, and, and it was really funny, man. You put together a good piece of audio. So thank you for uh for sending that and i'm glad i'm glad you're part of our community and and, and i'm glad you appreciate everything because i appreciate you so thank you again david de uh next up is ed sullivan pes graduate hardware connoisseur microphone connoisseur <laughs> interface connoisseur <laughs> And now, plug in, connoisseur. All right, this is Ed Sullivan's audio. Let's hear it. Hey, Chris. It's Ed Sullivan. <laughs> Congratulations wait, wait, on your Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> it's weird because he's talking in a almost like a nice, calm voice, but it's completely overdriven and distorted. Oh, I love this. Wait, hold on. Can we start it again? Hey, Chris. It's Ed Sullivan. Congratulations on your 200th episode of the Podcast Engineering Show. I've listened to every episode. Thanks to your podcast, Podcast Engineering School, my trusty SM7B, 
my SSL2 interface, <laughs> and thousands of dollars worth of plugins, now I sound great. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Ed, thank you, bro. <laughs> great, great submission. By the way, Ed Sullivan had the line of the century in, in our, our PES Slack group, Ed Sullivan. <laughs> in some, some thread, we were, we were talking about plugins, and, and Ed wrote to me, he said, Chris, it's very expensive to know you. <laughs> I mean, is that the greatest line ever? Ed wins. Line of the century. That's it. It's over. Until 2100 AD, you, you, you're not going to win that, that competition. Sorry, Ed already won. Thanks, Ed. I appreciate you, brother. All right, Jenny Wren is up next. Jenny was a recent guest on my show. She produces podcasts. Let's hear what Jenny Wren submitted. Chris Curran. Um, man, I want you to fix this audio. Do you think you can fix this audio, Chris Curran? What are you, like, the runner of the podcast engineering school or something? What? You're like some badass who makes audio sound so good? Well, fix this, man! Take this! <laughs> By the way, there's like an alarm going off in the building with all background noise. I love this. By the way, this is from Jenny Wren. Oh, and the music. of <laughs> there's, there's loud music in the background. Fix that alarm. Five alarm fire. <laughs> Happy 200th, Chris. Thank you, Jenny. That was great. That was awesome. Appreciate it. We had a great session on, on my show. Uh, that was a, that was a great episode. Oh, did I say session? Uh oh. See, uh, David Devilbus planted the seed. Remember, I used to call my episode sessions. Actually, for the first one hundred, up until episode one hundred, I called them sessions. And then at episode one hundred, be, because it was so confusing for everyone, they're like, "What is a session? Why don't Why don't you just call it an episode, Chris?" So after a hundred sessions, I changed it to episode. <clears throat> Maybe I should change it back now, right? Because <laughs> we hit another hundred. All right. Next up is Martin. Oh my God. I know. I know how this sounds already. This is great. Oh, this is. You're gonna love this. This is Martin Door. Thanks for sending this in, Martin. Let's hear. Uh, <laughs> let's hear Martin's audio submission. Hello, Chris. This is Martin. <laughs> Congrats to episode two hundred. Wow, two hundred episodes. That's great. I really love your podcast. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my bathroom, and I hope the sound is as bad as you want it. <laughs> yeah? I came to your podcast because I saw you at the Wild Facts podcast from Rick Mears. <laughs> it was a good choice. I'm looking forward to the next 200 episodes. Have a nice day. Best wishes from Austria. Bye. Yeah, best wishes from Austria. Thank you, Martin. Oh, that was tremendous. Now that is some terrible audio. That is, that's nice. I like that. That is just horrendous. Oh, I really, you, you, seriously, you could, if you really focus your mind and your ears, you can, you can barely make out what he's saying. That I love that. That, thank you. That so far, the best sounding clip that was, that has been submitted, Martin. So thank you. Uh, I appreciate your congratulations and thanks for being part of our community, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, and now, he he's he's not the headliner here, but Ralph M. Rivera, everyone. Ralph M. Rivera submitted this audio. Uh, let's have a listen. Hi, everyone. Ralph M. Rivera here. I have the privilege of welcoming you to the 200th episode of the Podcast Engineering Show. I want to take a moment to share a very heartfelt message about Chris Curran and the impact he has had on my life. By the way, where is he? I hear people in the, like people walking by right there. There's all this background noise. What is this? But I'm in my car right now and I just got tickets to see the film Tenet. So I'm going to go run in. I'm going to see the movie. I'm going to come back and then I'll give you my thoughts in a minute. Be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. So sorry about that. Uh, anyway, I want to say a few things about Podcast Engineering Show, Chris Curran, and the immense effect he has had on the lives of so many podcasters. It's hard to even know where to begin because the number of lives that Chris Curran has had is so broken. Chris is a fundamental leader. He's still going. He's still 
talking. <laughs> All of this is to say that the road to podcasting is hard, and I'm glad that we have someone like Chris Curran leading the way. Chris, congratulations on your 200th episode. I look forward to 200 more. Hurry, Harry, we're met by... No, we're back. 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 Oh, the backwards audio. Oh, and the, the movie soundtrack noise with the vocals way underneath it. Oh, that was brilliant. <clears throat> right? You hear the loud movie music, and then you, <laughs> you can hear Ralph talking like nothing, nothing's going on. Oh, that's funny. And he mentioned the movie Tenet, which uh, he saw in the theater, actually. And him and I and others, we've been talking about, well, I haven't seen the movie, but other people who've seen it have been talking about how a lot of the dialogue in the movie is just really low. It's it's underneath the other sounds and you can't actually hear like half the dialogue in that movie. Maybe not half, but you know what I'm saying. A considerable amount of dialogue in the movie they couldn't even understand because it was did, like there was loud explosions and music or whatever. And so uh, I guess that was his inspiration for that clip. But thank you, Ralph M. Rivera. I appreciate you, brother. Um, yeah, that was that was great. I love that. Just when the loud music and you hear him just in the background, just talking like nothing's happening. That's tremendous. All right. Next up is Thomas Cummings. He sent in some audio. Thomas, thanks for sending in the audio. This is this is the audio that Thomas sent in. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? <laughs> testing, testing. Please bring pizza pronto. Oh, oh he drops the podcast. bandrew. Anyway. Hey there, Chris. It's Tim Cummings. I just want to congratulate you on your 200th episode. Of that's that's some pretty good distortion right there, <laughs> right? That's some pretty. I like this of the podcast engineering show. I was back on your podcast uh, a while ago. I don't remember what episode it was, but I'm the producer of the Cookie in the Dark show, and I just wanted to send you this little audio clip to show people what kind of great professional sounding uh, audio. They could get if they uh, signed up for your podcast engineering show podcast and your podcast engineering school. So congratulations on your first 200 shows, and I hope you have another 200 more. Wow. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, see, at the end, he wasn't like right on the mic. He actually sounded clear, but oh, the rest of it was wonderful. Oh, I love that distortion. This is so good. I'm so happy this is the way to honor me. It's like, just give me, I just want the worst audio. And I love what you guys have sent. So thank you, Thomas. And, uh, okay. And last up it, well, that's, that's all the submissions we got, but I wanted to play you a submission, a, a piece of audio I made for Bandrew Scott. We all know Bandrew Scott, right? From podcastage. If you, if you're not subscribed to his YouTube channel, I'd be shocked. So, uh, anyway, podcastage channel on YouTube. Anyway, he uh, he passed 200,000 subscribers about maybe two months ago, something like that. Actually, it was when I was, my wife and I were visiting Yellowstone National Park and I found out about it. And so what I did is I wanted to record a little piece of audio congratulating him, but I wanted to make it the nastiest thing ever. So a funny thing happened. I made this nasty piece of audio. I sent it to him and he couldn't even hear it because the level was so low. <laughs> So he didn't even get the joke at first because I, I, well, I just sent it from my phone. I, I didn't, I couldn't boost the level. I didn't have my computer and everything. So, uh, then I, so what I did is when I got home, I actually produced this little piece of audio. It's like seven seconds long. And, uh, that's what I'm going to play for you now. So this is what I sent Bandrew. This is me congratulating him for 200,000 subscribers. Uh, and after you hear it, I'll tell you how I made it. Oh. Yeah, baby. Let's hear that again. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's hear that again. Yeah, you hear that? Isn't that great? So we were at this campsite, and there's a bathroom. I literally put my phone on the windowsill in the bathroom, and I went outside the bathroom. I left the whole the the, the whole bathroom, and I walked like thirty feet 
toward the road. And I literally stood there with, with my hands over my mouth like this. With my hands over my mouth like this. And I spoke like that from like, it had to be 40 feet away through a door. And that's the audio that came out. So anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. It was kind of fun, actually. It was kind of fun to do. So, well, thank you everyone for sending in that congratulatory audio and, and, and some of you roasting me. Uh, Mike McCallan, I remember what you said, my brother. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we're going to move to the next part of the show. Uh, actually, this is one of the last parts. We have an extended clip of Barry and I'm so, I actually got, I, I went back and I listened to some of the old clips of Barry, the longer clips, right? Cause like I said, he would sit in my office for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. And I would just roll the, roll the tape. Right. And so I found a little piece I could play, um, I found a longer clip, but then he was mentioning, well, he was like sort of referring to some personal things. And I was, and so then I thought, I don't really want to play that stuff for, for the world. But uh, anyway, this is, this is Barry. So for all of you who think Barry is not real and who, whatever you think, uh, this is Barry in my office in New Jersey in 20, probably 2013. Uh, this is a four minute clip. So let's enjoy this clip of Barry. Seriously, I mean, some of you have been waiting literally hundreds of episodes to hear this, <laughs> uh, and, and that's not an exaggeration. So, all right, here, here is, uh, here's Barry in my office, in my studio. Yeah, the right. United States started with a story. Columbus, yeah, he heard a story. And after he heard that story, he um, basically went to Spain and sold it. And, you know, one person, two person believed on him and he keeps selling his story until it was adapted. And then rustled up a few guys and, hey, they took off. Before you know it, they were across the ocean. And he believed on that story. He just kept sailing. And they sailed and sailed and a lot of people start saying, hey, this story, you know, people start doubting this story. Basically, finally, they hit land. And then they realize that, hey, this story worked out. Yep. They got all the way to the U.S. Yep. They found Cuba. They found the Bahamas. They found all the islands in the Caribbean. IT. Saw a different P. And I, I know the feeling, because when I was a sailor, um, when you're eager to see this new land, and when you see it, you know, it's hit you, you know, bam. And it's give you a wonderful feeling all over. New rivers, new people. They're eager to know you, and you're eager to meet them. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's just great. It's just it's a great, wonderful feeling. Yep. So a good story always, you know, always panned out. Yep. And if you have a good storyteller, a lot of good things can happen. Mm. Yep. And a good story could run a year, two years, three years. I'd say three years the most. Yep. Just keep on... And if you have good coaches and everything in there, you know, and then linguistic people involved with the, who has to sound like what, who has to sound like who, and then voice coaches, and just be yourself. Be yourself, yeah. Some people are actually stage fright. In front of a large audience, they have no voice, mm -hmm. but behind a closed door or just with a few people oh forget it right. yeah they can hack it all out I did it for years at sea when I was a sailor and they loved me <laughs> oh forget it <laughs> we tell stories we tell stories to each other and I learned other sailors tell stories about their homeland uh, where they came from what they did uh, farming whatever uh some sailors, when they tell you they came from 2,000 miles from the sea, this is how you wind up being a sailor. Says there was a sailor in my town, and he told stories about his sailing. 
And this kid who never saw the ocean started dreaming about the ocean based on stories and a few pictures. And bingo, came to the city and a few setbacks and then boom, he went out to sea. And then he was on the ocean. Yeah. So, you know, it's all started out with a story. Yeah. I think we're lacking a, a, a few nice stories. And more stories is being told, I think it's a good karma for a person, you know. Whatever story it is, sometimes people just get into it. Barry, I miss you, bro. God, you hear how he hear hear how he talks and how he tells the stories? Man, he just has this magic about him to just suck you in to, to being interested in what he's saying. Right? You guys heard that? Like you just lose you just start listening to him, you lose yourself. Something about him and the way he talks and he tells stories. And he's talking about telling stories too. And it also applies to podcasting. I mean, anyway, so there, there's, there's a four, four minute and five second clip of Barry. I hope you enjoyed that. I really miss, I miss Barry. Honestly, he was just really just a nice guy who who had gained a lot of wisdom from living a long life, you know, and and being out at sea and visiting all kinds of different countries. So. So anyway, thank you, Barry. I mean, Barry, I, I, I feel like I owe so much to Barry because his voice has been, uh, I think, a big part of my show. I mean, if you take Barry's voice out of my show, what do, what do I have left? <laughs> All right, I have something, but but Barry makes it. I don't know. So that's it. Anyway, that's two hundred episodes. I'm happy you were uh, here. I'm happy you listened. Uh, thank you for being part of our community and, and stay in touch and, you know, sound great as always sound as best you can. And we will end with a, a different song from the same band that you normally hear on my intro and outro. This is just a, a different song. Um, so I will go ahead and play this. And, uh, and then when the song ends that, then the episode will end. So thanks again for 200 Wow, I never I never imagined 200, but but hey, I'm I'm happy we got here and it's exciting and I'm trying to click this song to get it ready to play and it's not nothing's happening. Okay, terrific. All right, here we go. Here's the song. This is called Years. The song is called Years and the band is Tour Book. Thanks everybody for listening.
Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah.